Hello everyone, this is Fox, and I'm in the Tinker Shop at the Franklin Institute. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a winter watercolor painting with an added scientific element. By adding salt to watercolors, we can create a crystal effect that makes it look like there's snow in your painting. I'm actually using mine to make a card to send to my friend Max. You will need watercolor paper or other thick paper cut to the size of your finished product your watercolor paint and paintbrush, masking tape, scissors, kosher salt, or another medium grain variety, and any additional decorative elements you might like. For example, glitter, pom-poms, markers, or even uncooked pasta. Cooked pasta does not work out well for this craft. The first step is to use masking tape to create the design on your paper. These areas in the final product will not have the salt effect, so design accordingly. If you are using the final product as a card, it is suggested that you write your message first on the back, since the side with the salt paint will have some raised elements. Next, apply watercolors to your paper. Use a generous amount of paint and water for the best results. You may need to weigh down or tape your paper to the surface beforehand, as the wet paint may make your paper curl. When you are done painting, immediately scatter the salt in the areas of your choosing. The paper should be very wet when adding the salt, or the effect won't work as well. Wait for the watercolors to dry completely and shake off any loose salt. Then carefully peel off your tape to reveal your design. Feel free to use other materials to further decorate your wintry painting. You may notice a really cool interaction with the salt and the paint. That's because salt is a hygroscopic substance, meaning it attracts and holds water from its surroundings. Some of the water from the watercolors is being absorbed into the salt, creating textures and visual effects in the pigment on the paper. I really hope Max likes this card. It looks like Max has sent me some mail too. He also has some tips on how we can take this experiment further. He writes, Hey Fox, hope you had fun making a winter watercolor salt painting. Here are a few ways to take it further. Try using different kinds of salt. Not all salt is the same. What happens if you use different paper? Does certain paper work better than others? Experiment, your pal Max. We hope that you enjoyed this video in our Tinker series, and we look forward to working with you again soon. Bye, everybody.